Hi, how are you today? This is my friend Tanner and we are members of St. John Ambulance and we are participating in the TALES program, Therapy Animals Involved in Literacy Skills. And we have a story about a dog today, but it's a kind of unusual dog because it's a dog wearing shoes. You can see the shoes down there. Hmm, I wonder why a dog would wear shoes. This book is by Sangmi Ko. You ready, Tan? Okay. One day, Minnie was on her way home from Grandma and Grandpa's when suddenly, so here she is in the car, and suddenly what? What do you think she sees? Screech! Minnie, look! It's a dog, Mom said. And it's wearing shoes. Doggy! cried Minnie. So there they are, driving in the car. Mom sees something, slums on the brakes. They get out and they see the dog wearing shoes. I wonder why a dog's wearing shoes in the middle of the street. Hmm. San Miko, a dog wearing shoes. So I guess it was like the prequel, the story that starts before the story. Here, puppy, Minnie's mom called, and the dog pranced right over. So cute, Minnie shouted. Can we keep him? Please, oh please, oh please. Well, I would want to keep a cute dog wearing shoes, too. Oh, but I've already got one. <laughs> Minnie's mom looked everywhere for the dog's owner. This little fellow must be lost, she said at last. We'll have to take him home for now. Look, there she is. And all of these people and cars around. And she's trying to find the owner. Do you th I think that would be pretty hard to do. Minnie was so excited. She sang a song, took the dog's shoes off, and put them back on. Bonked their heads together, and took a nap with them. At home, Minnie wanted to keep playing. The dog wasn't in the mood. Hmm. So there they are in the car, getting to know each other. And then when they get home, the dog doesn't want to play. I wonder why not. And then he started barking and barking. Minnie, I think he's missing his family, said her mom. He's my family now. I found him. He's crying. He isn't crying. He's singing. His owner must be looking for him. But he has no dog collar. He doesn't belong to anybody. He has shoes, said her mom. He belongs to someone. Hmm, that's a good point. Yeah, we don't put shoes on a dog and a collar on a dog unless they belong to someone. Maybe he just needs a walk, said Minnie quickly. Let's go. Minnie and her mother bought a dog collar and leash and went straight to the park. So there she is trying to convince her mom that the dog must be theirs. They get the leash and they're off to the park. There were dogs everywhere. Oh yeah, look at them all. Soon Minnie's dog had attracted quite a crowd. How adorable and friendly. Look at those little shoes. Yeah, dogs wearing shoes would be awfully cute. Beg, paw, other paw, lie down, play dead, 
She's giving us some commands. And he's so smart. Minnie was very proud. Well, I would be proud of having a smart dog too that could do all those things. Oh, maybe I have one. Fetch, Minnie cried. Uh-oh, uh-oh, yeah. She throws the stick and there's the stick. And there's the dog. Where is he going? Minnie looked everywhere, inside the park and outside the park, but all she could find was a shoe. That's a dog that likes to run, said Minnie's mom. Mm. Look, there they are trying to find the dog, but there's the shoe. Where are you, doggy? cried Minnie. You see, she's crying. I would cry too. That would be awful to lose a dog. The next day, Minnie's mom took her to the shelter to try to find the dog. So here they are at the shelter. It's got a sign at the top. It says Animal Shelter. Pet Adoption Center and Animal Control. And there they are looking. Doggy! <laughs> Look, there he is. <laughs> Jumping up and down. So excited to see them. Minnie sat down and gave the dog a big hug. Then she took him home. Now Minnie knew that someone else must be missing the dog too. Ah. Oh. So look what she's done. She's made all these signs. And the signs say found. A dog wearing shoes is he yours. Please contact Minnie, 46 West Main Street. It didn't take long for his owner to show up. Oh, look how excited they are. And there they are. And then he's saying goodbye. A few days later, Minnie and her mom knew just where to go. Any guesses where they go? Have you guessed? The pet adoption and animal control. <laughs> and here she is looking for a dog and she finds one. To find a dog of Minnie's very own. So just before I close the book, I'm just going to read you something that's from the back of the book. On the very back cover, it tells me a little bit about the story. And it says that a dog wearing shoes is based on a true story. Her niece, Sang Mi Ko, who wrote the book, her niece once found a lost dog with shoes on. And after returning him to his owner, she adopted a dog named Ray. Isn't that interesting? What do you think, Tan? Okay. And it's also got information about how to adopt a dog, but just so you know, it says to adopt a dog, you must be at least 18 years old. Okay? So maybe one day when you get older, you can have a dog that wears shoes too. All right. Well, thank you for joining Tanner and I today. We really appreciate you coming. We hope you're having a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.